Hi everybody. Um, today's video needed a bit of an introduction because there's a lot going on. We decided to do some printing with my four-year-old Grant. Um, a lot of these printing activities can be modified for your child. Um, if you need help doing that, please feel free to give me an email um, and I will send you specifics on how to help your child. Um, what I do with Grant in the videos it depends on what he's working on. Um, for his teacher provided some worksheets for J and for I and for that video we took some play-doh first. I traced out um, or I provided a, a piece of black paper with a bright yellow crayon on it and he just had to roll out the snakes for making the letters and then place them on. Um, I did demo that for him first so he knew exactly what he was expected to do and he did a good job following my model. Um, he does letters. You can also just do pre-writing strokes, so horizontal and vertical lines, circles, um, whatever your child specifically is working on would be fine to do with that activity. Um, we then go right to using a pencil or a crayon to tracing the letters on the worksheet. Also on the worksheet, he has a coloring component, so he does not like coloring. He has some weakness in his hands, so he prefers not to do that. Also, his attention is kind of So we just guide him through that process to make it more fun for him. And so he's buying into the whole activity a little bit better. Um, and he does pretty well with that. So I outlined a lot of the shapes to kind of encourage him to use smaller strokes while coloring, which will strengthen his fingers and then make the experience a few months from now more enjoyable, we hope. Um, and then we went on to tracing the letters of his name, which is a bit advanced for him, but um, we're practicing it. It's not a big deal for me to practice it with him. I don't have any big expectations for him printing his name on his own. Um, my concerns are really just that he can identify these letters and it's not a bad thing for him to practice strengthening his fingers. I did use red light, green light with it. So I drew a green circle and a red X on the letters to kind of help him identify where to start, where to stop on the, each letter. And he does a pretty good job with that. Um, and he has fun with it. He loves trying to make it stop. So um, please feel free to use any of these tips and any of these ideas to see if they work for your child. If you need help determining what kind of things you can use for your specific child, I am available via email. Please send me your question and I will get a response to you. Have a great day. Bye. The world so I'm teaching darkness. Grant how to use Play-Doh to form the letters of his name. Also, the teacher provided us some worksheets for the letter J and I to work on today for practice. So I like to trace the letter on a dark piece of paper and use brightly colored Play-Dohs to make it just so the letters pop. Um, it's especially important for kids with some visual impairments. So here I go. I'm just gonna use this crayon to make a J. And this is my gentleman. My it's hard for me to make the J with just one hand. Oh. I usually would use my left hand to stabilize the paper, but it's holding this camera. So we're rolling it out here. Just use your fingers and do it lightly. We took our Play-Doh and we're just rolling it into two snakes. Because we've determined already that we need two snakes to make the letter J. I'm done. You're done with yours? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give him back the tray and then he's going to trace it with the Play-Doh. Remember what mommy did? What? Good. Press it on. Use your fingers to press it on. There you go. Okay. Mom. And then where's the hat for Jay? I can't make it. There you go. Excellent. Nice job. Letter 
next we're making the letter I. So I'm just going to make an I. And then, Grant, how many snakes do you think you need? Do you need one, two, two three. three snakes? Okay, so can you roll out three snakes? Can you pinch apart three pieces? Okay. Okay, make three pieces. I can't. Do you need help to make three yeah. pieces? Okay. This is um, going to be a house. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to make it into a house later. One. No, that's not a house, that's a mountain. Oh, a mountain, sorry. One, two, We can make three. a mountain later, right? Look. Yeah, we can make a mountain later. Can you help yeah, me make the snakes? Yeah, it's King Kong. Can you help me make the snakes? No, I'm gonna do that. Oh, you're gonna do that one? Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna do that next. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna Okay, so now you have to put your move your three snakes over. I'm gonna put the tray back in front of you. Make your letter I using your three snakes. Nice job! That's awesome. Okay, you're gonna practice J first. Ta da! Ta da! Can you do another one? Ta da! Ta da! You can't poke in your eye. No, please don't use the pencil to poke your eyes. Wow, that was fantastic. Ta -da! <laughs> My finger is pointing to this one, mommy. Ta -da! Nice. Ta -da! Can you start at the top? Good, and work your way down to the hook. Good. Can you turn the page over? Oh. Part of these pages has um, a coloring component, so I wanted to try and see if Grant could follow directions according to color. So I did. I outlined this in purple, I outlined his face in yellow, the accordion part is orange, and the box is red. So I want to see if Grant's going to follow directions and do purple. Yellow, da, 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 orange, da, da, da. and red. Okay, show me what you got, Grant. So what color is the face? Yellow. Oh, nice. And his hat is what color? Uh, purple. A nice opportunity to strengthen all of the muscles in his hand too for coloring small areas. Wow, nicely done, Grant. Good job. Am I done? You're Want all to done. Use a crayon or a pencil today. A crayon. Okay. And then a pencil. Okay. You want to use the print, the crayon up top, and then the pencil on the bottom. Okay. Start on green and stop on red. Yeah, because that's the X. The red X, right. Stop! Stop, stop, stop. Okay, now find the next one. Now they got to the treasure. Where do we start? On green. Stop! Very that's nice. where the dinosaurs are. Okay, now R has another line that you have to do. Hey, draw. this is going to be a movie. Mm -hmm. And Mom... This is gonna be a funny one. Okay. So, and you have to send this to Gma. Okay, I will. Okay, so we're gonna start there. Do the A, do the big belly. A has a big belly. Stop! Where's the big belly? Oh, good job. Oh, stop! <laughs> do you know what letter this is? Yes. What letter is that? 
R, very good. Okay, are you using the pencil or the crayon to make N? Crayon, okay, go ahead, go for it. Where are you? It's a giant claw. Oh, here. Dun, dun, dun. Let's make sure this is a boat. Okay, let's do. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's still. Hi. We need to finish it's before we play. Come on. Oh, look, it's a boat. Da 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 Beautiful job. Can you do this one down here? Okay, what's this? Um, a crayon melted on it. I think that's a little bit of paint. It's it's a crayon, trust me. Okay. Now what I have to do. Well, you want to hold down there, okay? Say stop! Stop! <laughs> Keep going, do R. Mom, what was the dinosaur one? Oh, that's the dinosaur one. Oh, okay. Here's another dinosaur one. Stop! It didn't stop. It's I a know. dinosaur. You have to listen. It's a dinosaur. Now they're going to be eaten. Oh, no. Can you finish R? Now they're not going to get the treasure. Not what that pencil do. Don't worry. You can use the crayon. Okay. We're a boat. Mm hmm. Okay. Stop! Stop. A. Stop! It didn't stop. It's the dinosaur's mouth. I know. Let's finish. When you're all done writing your name, practicing. Stop! Dun, dun, dun. So go around for the big belly, remember? Okay. Beautiful and t t t t. Stop. Stop. Beautiful job. Uh -huh. Nice work. Can I get a high five? All right. Now